Hello again and welcome back to London. There's no point in hanging around. Greece remains the main topic of interest for investors and I've been getting the views of Josh Mahoney from IG. Josh, we're speaking for this IMF deadline, which it looks like Greece is going to miss. Uh, what's your helicopter view of the situation as we stand? Oh God, you know, it's pretty complex. Mm. You know, I think, you know, ultimately we've got this deadline later today. We've got the bailout essentially running out by the end of the day as well. So I think it's likely they're going to probably miss that payment. I think it's also unlikely that we're necessarily going to get a an announcement that they've defaulted per se they will be in arrears to the IMF but as with most occasions when you owe money essentially they will try and find some way down the line of getting that payment met because they don't necessarily want to write it off um, I think they're going to have to write off a, a substantial amount of uh, the debt owed by Greece at some point down the line I just don't necessarily think they're going to do it right now so I think there's been talks at the moment of um, Cyprus actually going back to the table and you know looking over some of the proposals again so I think there's a softening of the stance from Saritza but it's, it's a tough line that Saritza have to have to try and walk at the moment that essentially on one side they have to be shown to be tough um, and fulfill their mandate but on the other side presumably they do want to get some sort of deal through at some point to try and you know essentially keep uh, Greece within the, the eurozone which I think is what their aim is yeah what do you think um, about this poll which is up and coming uh, it, it's quickly being turned into an inner out referendum basically for Greece. Do you, what do you think that impact is going to be on the Greek people? Uh, well, I, I think firstly the, the referendum in itself is becoming an in or out vote because that's how the leaders within the Eurozone think that they'll be able to get a yes vote through. Um, so in terms of if you ask the people within Greece, do you want more austerity or do you not? I think overwhelmingly you get people say that they don't necessarily want austerity. Uh, but if you put it more towards do you want to stay within the Eurozone, we already know that a number of polls have come out of Greece and they've said that they want to stay within the Eurozone. So I think this is a sort of switcheroo by some of the leaders to essentially you know, reword uh, the whole issue and to try and get the yes vote out of it. Um, I think what's, happened, you know, what, what's the future for the, the Greeks? I think ultimately they need to try and get themselves out of the problem that they've got at the moment. I think by the end of the year they're going to have around 180% debt to GDP ratio. Um, and you know, that's got to be dealt with at some point. If they do remain within the Eurozone, I think it's going to be very difficult for them to do so and actually wipe off any of that money, really, uh, unless we actually see quite substantial cuts in terms of spending and increase in taxes. We're seeing it over in the UK and we're not necessarily in as bad a position, so it's certainly going to have to happen to some extent over in Greece. Yeah, what do you make of Alexis Tsipras and his negotiation, negotiation team? I, I, I swing violently between they're very responsible to, you know, at least staying true. Um, do you see any signs that he's going to compromise? What do you make of his style overall? I think, you know, I mean, previously everyone was like outraged at the style of Varoufakis when he came in and essentially, you know, would just storm in, you know, say his demands, wouldn't necessarily listen to people. We've heard from uh, Juncker who's essentially said that um, they haven't really been negotiating with, with a view to trying to get a deal across the line. It's been more political. And it does feel like Cyprus and Saritza as a whole have got to try and straddle the whole politicised side of it that essentially they came in on a mandate of you know anti-austerity whereas also the, the side of it that when you're in a meeting with a number of different leaders and you face the, the cold hard facts in the books per se yeah. it's all well and good saying that you're anti-austerity once you actually look at the, the great position they're in you've got to soften that line somewhat so I think it's quite difficult I think to the, to the face of the leader he's probably a lot more uh, positive whereas when he's looking towards the electorate he's more negative and saying that in actual fact you know it's a disgrace the proposals that they're putting forward and things like that so Well, thanks to Josh. I'll also be speaking to him about the upcoming NFP numbers, but that's it for now. Goodbye.